through your the power of the Smash community. We're in there. All right, and so we have singles beginning. Our first match is going to be Youngster Joey versus Niani. All right, and Youngster Joey with that Mewtwo and PM. Let's see if some some of this can carry over. When he did play Brawl, he didn't really like play Brawl like heavy. Yeah. But he was a Bowser main in Brawl. Was he? Yep. Wasn't so. his name Jellybean Man previously? I don't know. <laughs> and Niani, a uh, great friend of Chibos. I've actually yeah. just recently met her this year. That's when she first stepped into the scene, I guess. Yeah, man. Niani just got the, the super warm-up from playing me, so no, <laughs> no cold hands right now. All right, and we are in here. The classic matchup of Mario and Bowser. Oh, man, this matchup stems not only from Smash, but from every Mario title imaginable. Yeah, man. My favorite one is actually in Mario RPG. He's like the first boss fight. Oh, really? Game. Yep. Uh, I think I'll keep it really classic with Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab his tail and toss him, man. Toss him right off the stage. You like grabs. I, I do. I love grabs. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, Youngster Joey taking a small percentage lead. Niani going to the edge trying to do her thing. Ooh. And the bravest Bowser Bomb by the edge. So what do you think of this matchup? I think I can see this matchup being at least 55-45 Bowser's favor or even close to even. Um... Yeah, I mean, Mario can put that pressure on with the aerials, with the low percentage grab into up tilt combinations, get that free, basically free damage in because of Bowser's weight. But Bowser can really end the stock if you're not careful. Very fast. And, but you, and you see Youngster Joey using that, that custom side B, launching them forward. Yeah. So... My you know. thing with this matchup is I feel like Mario can easily rack up damage on Bowser, like he said. Ooh, but that, he, he almost, almost made it That's the custom up B, I think, uh. along with the custom side B, allowing Bowser to suicide kill other players and still potentially make it back. That's crazy. So um, a good tool in this matchup I feel like Mario has is his cape and flood. Being that um, Bowser's recovery is kind of linear, mm -hmm. she can either cape his up B or flood his de uh, uh, up B, and yep. that's a, that can be a stock, a potentially early KO. However, he's using a custom up B, so I'm not sure if he does have the same horizontal movement he has with the regular up B. I don't think so. I think it's toward the end of the move when he finally goes into that free fall animation, then he can start using that, that kind of momentum from yeah. the move, but I think the up B is pretty much straight up. So we got to look at it again and see. But he's really getting a lot out of that custom side B, man. That that dash slam or whatever you want to call it. Definitely. But Niani is not out of this match at oh. the moment. She can definitely come back. However, she's going to want to avoid that move. Because at higher percents, that will net him an early KO. Yeah. For sure. Niani at 59%. Last stock with great patience there. That was a Seeing really well smash. F smash. And then gets an F smash of her own. What a great, great turnaround here. And I was looking for her to go for a grab and start her up tilt string. Yeah. And Niani can get a lot of damage off of that. And here it goes. Yes, there we go. Four up tilts. Goes for a fifth misses. Reads the air dodge. She could have grabbed and then continue up tilting again after the um air dodge lag. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a up air strings. Nice little trap there. Already almost evening up the game despite having died so early at the beginning. Yep. And Niani now trying to wall out Whoa. with the wind, the gust <laughs> cape coming into play. Oh man, Mario's an airbender, dog. Yeah, man, this that gust cape is annoying. Trust me, man, from experience. And Niani a little too close to the edge. That's what I like to see. Get back to the center of the stage. Try and control the stage. Yep, stage control is just as important as any other Smash title in this game. And you don't want to play too heavy by the edge at high percents against a power character like Bowser. Exactly. Because you're just lending yourself to his strength, which is that kill power. A cape at the edge to punish that would have been very nice because Bowser wouldn't have been able to grab the ledge and that would have net her the game. Mm -hmm. There's a back throw. Let's see the edge guard attempt. Good job going low. That move scares me, dude. <laughs> the flamethrower? Yeah, it's so long, man. <laughs> Ooh, nice Ooh. up B. Interesting up B. Oh, wow, the up smash whips. How did that miss? Uh, no idea. Wow, okay. going low again. Youngster Joey going from the deep. Oh, man, ball players really oh. cautious. The F smash doesn't get all of it. Doesn't look like the fire part of it hit. That's so strong, that flood, man. 
That yeah. Blastoise Hydrant, man. Yeah, the Scalding Flood Custom. And the up smash and a great comeback victory by Niani. Yes. Taking game one. Niani's pretty good. Good stuff. It's impressive Mario play. So um, there are no bans at this tournament. So I am wondering where Bowser is going to take Mario. Well, we got we got Battlefield, we got Yoshi's, we got regular FD, and we got every other FD in the game. And Prism Tower, right? So we'll see. Uh, yo. They keep that one, yeah. But if it just got in the middle of the match, they have to replay the last bit. It's almost as if, like, you're playing a set and the power just goes out on the Wii, they have to replay the match. That's just not the whole set. Not the whole set. Just whatever match was in the middle of the match. You got it. Do you guys try to slide over a little bit? No. All right, we're moving on to game two. Oh, oh. <laughs> I saw Sonic first, so I'm like, oh, Sonic versus Bowser? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, that is Sonic just SDing, so we can record this match for you guys. All right, three, two, one, quit life. Quit life. <laughs> and oh, we're wow. off. Whoa, that grab, yo, just snatching Mario out the air. That disrespect, yo. These jank custom moves, man. Still not used to them, man. Been playing for a while now. Still don't know what every custom move does, or yeah, and I don't know what every custom move is yet. Yeah, you gotta watch those Ninja Link videos. Ninja That's Link got so much time, but <laughs> shout out to Ninja Link for actually doing that. Yeah, man, he put he put a lot of work in, and the drop kick from the top rope. Why is that right so here. strong? <laughs> Getting the early KO, man, that that had some knockback on it. All right, so are we going to see a similar comeback like game one from Niani? Oh, Gus Cape pushing Bowser away. Ooh! There. Oh, oh. Man, Youngster Joey. Oh, my. Ooh, oh, double cape. <laughs> double cape. <laughs> Bowser is done. <laughs> wow. Hit, a, hit Youngster Joey with the Scorpidorp. <laughs> and then <laughs> Gus Cape up to. Oh, my oh. gosh. That was so cool. Up till, up till, oh, oh one more up man. till, then up oh, air would have worked. Uh, uh. See, the good thing about Mario's up till is people like to mash air dodge out of it, but then you have landing lag when you land to the ground anyway, so Mario can just easily follow up with something else or continue the string. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good point. The new air dodge mechanic in Smash 4 lending to these low percentage combinations. Oh, good fair. I think giving air dodge landing lag was one of the best um, things they implemented into this game. Yeah, I like the idea too. At first I hated it, to be honest, because I loved to be able to air dodge and then just run freely. Mm -hmm. But it kind of it was a little bit too overpowered in Brawl. Oh, like, yeah. It needed to be toned down, and I feel like they did a great job with it in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, Youngster Joey going for that. That dash swipe doesn't get it. Yanni now punishing quite well now. Nice back, back air. Here. Has stage control. Has Bowser off the stage. Tries to land a cape. Ooh, a back air there would have been great off of the ledge trump. And the up smash right in the back of Bowser's shell. Mario's got some concrete in his hat or something, man. Headbutt in the <laughs> Bowser like that. Oh my god! And makes it back! <laughs> That is what? ridiculous! What is this game? <laughs> oh wow, fireball! Money, fireball onto money in the bank. Oh man, snatched out the air again. Oh my gosh. That's so cool, man. That's what a beast would do, man. It'll just snatch you. Yeah, it just grab you. What you gonna do? Break out of gra Bowser's grab? No, <laughs> this game is fake, dude. You can't get away from him. <laughs> oh. Once you catch the hands, you catch the hands. That's it. Oh, wow. Nice drop kick there. Right over the F smash. Wow, Youngster Joey. Fortunate. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> people, want, people want to ban the side beat up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> the side B suicide kill, the up B, they want it banned. <laughs> that is so good, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sakurai, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good F smash there. All right, Youngster Joey trying to play it very safe. That won't exactly kill. I see that the knockback is actually weakened on this new custom yeah. side B. That's mm -hmm. very good. And and that's a good balance because of the horizontal movement you get from it. Also, during the move, there's a lot of horizontal mobility. Uh, you see Youngster Joey basically go taking the Anya across the stage with the move. Oh my gosh, Gus Cave Another F smash. Good F smash by Niani, Niani closing out the set, hits. setting youngster Joey to losers. Yo, that was crazy, man. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh man, that was a good match, man. Good first round it was, match. It was, it was.